all covered in stuff now. Yeah. The Joker from Batman. And if you see anyone with hooded eyes in the street, tell them about me. Hi guys, um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to just um, do some swatches of my everyday makeup palette. This is the palette that I use all of the time and you, I know that you've all seen it before. Um, I don't veer from this unless I'm doing some, something special. Literally everything, everything I need is in here and I've kind of got them bunched up. Um, but I wanted to show you, because they don't always look the same um, in the palette. I've put um, primer potion on my arm because that's what I put on my eye and um, I want to try and make it look as realistic as possible. Um, I've never done this, this is literally just an off the cuff kind of quick video. So um, if I start from the beginning and you do a swatch of my creme brulee, so creme brulee is a, a makeup beat, makeup geek eyeshadow. It's pretty much like my skin tone without when I've got no makeup on. So this I put down as my base for every single look that I do. So I'm going to swatch that one first for you. I don't know how hard to press or anything, so it actually looks, it's very interesting to see how they come across. So that's Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. And then over the top of that, I would typically use, um, I have one here called, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is Custard. So this, I've got a, a three colour look here, three or four colours. So this is <coughs> Custard, Desert Sands, Chickadee and Mocha. Now these three, um, these actually make, make up my favourite look. I absolutely love these, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swatch these for you. The, the Custard one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, you, it doesn't really show up on my skin. Um, but it's it's an absolute essential. I couldn't. I really couldn't be without it. And I'm looking forward to doing um, a look for you with these colours because they are just simply stunning. And for some reason, um, the yellow look on my eye is just awesome. I don't know what it is about it. And you think, oh, yellow eyeshadows that can't look great, but it actually does. Sorry, Jacob. Um, and yeah, so so they they are my go-to. Very glamorous, is it? You can see. So we've got custard, um, desert sands, chickadee, and mocha, um, and they make up um, the ones from my everyday look. They are absolutely fantastic. If I had to take a few colours with me to the beach, uh, not the beach, the, the desert island place that we always pretend that we're going to, <laughs> that would be that. I'm getting messy now, and I'm actually wiping off my fake tan. So I've realised that I've wiped off my Urban Decay Primer Potion, so we're going to, we're going to try and do it without it. So when I when I also, um, I'm going to put some more creme brulee on because again, so you can see how it looks start. So I'm going to do it a bit, I'm going to try and do it on here because I think it's going to look a little bit more realistic. Yes, I have got hairy arms. Never mind, eh? Right, okay, so then I have this one here. Oop, let's show you the front of it, that would help, won't it? Oh dear. That's not very good. This one is Poppy, and this is another makeup geek. As you can tell, I, I literally love makeup geeks. So this is a, it's not really a poppy colour, it's more of a um, an apricot, I would say. And then over this, this one um, is Tuscan Sun. I love this colour. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is um, more of a, a pink colour, and this really, really goes well with a, with another with a cool look. I love this one. I really do. Really, really beautiful colour. Covers um, a multitude of sins. That one, and you can put it. People say that you should put um, some of your blush over the top of your eyeshadow when you finish because it makes the um, the look very cohesive. I'm not. I haven't done that really, but I do sometimes just whack a little bit of that on because it really does help blend. For some reason, it does. It does something quite special. So they are ones that I wear together, and over the top of at the bottom, you know, when I do my darker crease, I use this. This is Mac. Um, 
Swiss chocolate. I love, as you can see, you know. This is one of my favourites, and um, this is, you know, we go everywhere together. This one. It's not. Um, it doesn't look so good on the skin, but it's a beautiful, beautiful. And again, it's another like a mauvey brown. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Love that one. And then we go into the. Hmm. I've got no fingers left, they're all dirty. Right, so I'm going to go into, now the red ones, for some reason, I mean, I, you can see the colours of my eyes, they look much darker than they actually are. I've got kind of like a light brown eye, but it, it does look a little bit darker on here. So, but the red colours really, for some reason, suit me like the ready burgundy. This is Makeup Geek Bitten. Now this is like um, an aubergine colour, but it's actually probably not as dark and it's really really beautiful on brown eyes really really beautiful That's it. and then underneath that one as the next color down this is cherry cola so on the same line just a, just a little bit darker a little bit darker i've got a bit of wet because i've been trying to wipe them off but as you can see and this is how we create the illusion of depth. So we, we you know, we use a colour and then we put another colour over the top of it that's slightly darker um, and therefore you're creating a crease. So it's important to have, which I didn't realise when I first started makeup, it's really important to have the, the, the different steps of colour, you know, the transition and then a few different shades of, of, a, of a similar colour so you can create depth. That's how we achieve all of that. And over the top of all of those goes, this is my oh, absolute favourite. Um, I bought three of these. This is Americano. Um, now this is very, a true aubergine. It's very dark, very sultry, um, and it, there's a lot of fallout with this colour, but I absolutely, absolutely adore it. So we've got Bitten, Cherry Cola, and Americano. Now obviously, you know, the, the um, Tuscan Sun would look great with those as well. That's why I've created my palette because it literally is, it's all of the colors that, that, I, that I use on a, on a, daily, on a daily basis. Um, and I tend to stick with, you know, I've got four or five eye looks and you know, I, I tend to stick with those. There's some fantastic YouTubers that do amazing things of all different color liners and all of that, but I'm 51 and I can't really get away with it and I can't do a makeup look, go to, go to work and then look, go to a meeting and look like the Joker from Batman. So that's that one. And then um, lastly, so that the cool look that I've got at the moment is typically, um, I've used a grey from the Vizzy Art palette. I've just done a tutorial on that. But I do, um, I have three colours here from Makeup Geek. This is, these are from the Smoky Mountains collection, I think. I bought them separately. No, I didn't, they, they came in a palette. Um, but I really, really, really like these. Um, so we've got Take For Granite. I'll get these out for you. That's a very, very, very cool brown, dark brown. Clean Slate. This is darker than it looks in the pan. And then the lighter one of the three, which I haven't used very much, to be perfectly honest with you, is Bedrock. Um, I think I've actually got bed is that Bedrock. No, that's unexpected. What's that one? Petal Pusher, yeah. So yeah, let, let's swatch those three. So let's go with a lighter one first. So this is this is bedrock. So it's a it's actually quite a grey brown. It comes out differently, um, which is why I thought it was important to swatch them. So I but I would typically wear these three colours together um, as a, a a cool brown look. So that looks like a darker grey, but it is it is quite brown. And then we've got the last one, which is take for granite, which I had on in the week. Again, that's, that's darker. Can you see those? And my filthy fingers. So those were all my Makeup Geek ones. Um, there's, there's a couple of other ones that just kind of kick about a little bit. And then I've got um, this one here by Makeup Forever, which I've just used in the look that I have at the moment. Now, this is just a really all good all round. It's like a, a mauvey color. Um, 
it's just beautiful and it, it massively flatters um, my skin tone. It's number M546, it doesn't have a name um, and, I, and I adore it, I absolutely adore it. Let's put it on there. So as you can see, whoa. it's a really, really pretty feminine colour and I use that, I use that a lot with all of the other um, shadows that I have as a, as a Sometimes if, if I don't blend a, a shadow properly or I feel like it, there's something missing in between, I, I typically go in with that because it just helps. Obviously the way that we blend eyeshadow, now I've learned how to do it properly, is you use one colour, then you use another colour and another colour and, and you blend them all in together. That one you can pretty much put on top of everything and it just helps you blend them. It, it's just amazing and it's not too opaque um, to cause any issues. So I will, um, they are my everyday um, with, with the exception of this last one, this is <laughs> this is five years old. This is one of the first um, eyeshadows that I purchased on the off the back of Whitney Hedrick, who said, "You have to have Nars." I'm oh, covered in stuff now. <laughs> yeah. Coconut Grove. This is the deepest, darkest brown you will ever see. It's absolutely stunning, and I typically use it in the the, the, in the when I'm doing a deeper look. I do have a black. The black is from. Um, the matte tart tart palette I'll show you that another day so let's do a swatch of this one but it is pretty much almost black it's just incredible and that's just one swatch sorry you can see it's fantastic not so much fallout on this one and as you know when you get it it's it's enormous I literally have had that five years and I pretty much use it let's say three three or four days out of seven so beautiful 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 just buy this one just buy that one um I'm, I've, I've, i'll list all the colors below so you can have a have a look and a, a play around if you want to um i think that for me you know i've got probably i don't know eight or nine palettes i'm not a i'm not a palette junkie or I, I i was and then i stopped buying them because it's kind of like i've got that color i've got that color and you know i stick with what works what i think i probably will end up doing is buying some palettes um I'd like to hear what you what you want to see from me you know I like to go to Boots and get some stuff from NYX I'd like to get the Wet n Wild ones because that you can get all of that in the UK now so I want to do some of those kind of videos um but yes so please inspire me tell me if you've got a palette at home that you don't know what to do with and I will buy it and I will do my makeup and we can learn together how about that I think that might be a little bit of fun so yeah so that's this is my ready-made palette and yes it costs a lot of money to put together you know these are all five pounds each you know so by the time you've by the time you've worked it all out and you let's say for example you look at this the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette I think this was like 45 pounds obviously it's filthy dirty and some of them are broken but I hardly I hardly used it because all of those colors I've pretty much got in, in the palette that I've made myself so and if I go on on holiday, then I'll just take this one with me. Obviously, I've got a shimmer in there, MAC Nylon. Um, I'll, let me do a quick swatch of that one. This is MAC Nylon. It is quite shimmery. And then this one here, this is fantastic. This is, I think, uh, this is a Makeup Geek one called In The Spotlight. When you look at it in the in the pan, it looks absolutely... Um, here we go. That's what it looks like in the... Whoop, that's what it looks like in the pan. Oh god, I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? But when you put it on, um, let's put it on my on my hand. There you go. It's look at that. That is beautiful. And I often wear that. Um, in fact, let's let's put a little bit on now. Let's have a little play as I'm going to a party. I would typically put that up here um, as a brow highlight, and it just catches the light. I don't know if you can see. Um, and sometimes inside my eye there, put a little bit of that, makes it come a bit more alive. So yeah, that's my, that's my, um, I'm covered in stuff now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's my everyday eyeshadows and I would, you know, I, like I said, I'll list all the colours below. Um, they won't suit everyone because everyone's got different skin tones, everyone's got different things, every different colours. This, this is a palette that I've got. This is the um, the reject palette. These are the ones that I've got are kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do with them. And then I've got a green one. It's not it's not just green, but you know, there's, looks like someone's been sick inside of a palette, doesn't it? 
It looks like someone's been sick inside of a palette, doesn't it? But yeah, it looks like someone's been sick inside of a palette, doesn't it? So I've got, I have got lots of stuff, um, but I think it's important for me to have my everyday go-to palette called, I think I should probably paint and hit it, shouldn't I? A Julie's, me oh God, I'm so messy. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope it's been a little bit um, interesting for you to see that you can just, you don't have to buy every palette under the sun, just get what you use. Uh, you know, that was expensive, but I use it all day, every day, and I haven't had to buy 20 different palettes to come up with one that I can just shove in my bag and take on, take for a weekend away with me. So, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever it is. Um, have a glass of wine for me, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. And if you see anyone with hooded eyes in the street, tell them about me. See you later. Bye.